English, singular and plural nouns. Today, we will learn what are singular and plural nouns. Singular. Look at the singular column. Bird, book, cat, dog, pen. So, how many birds are there? Bird. Just one. How many books are there? Book. Just one. One. How many cats are there? Just one. How many dogs are there? Just one. How many pens are there? Just one. So, in the singular column, you have all the nouns, but they mean only one. There's only one of each. Bird, one book, one cat, one dog and one pen. Okay. Now let's go to the plural column. Birds. How many birds are there? Birds. Is it one? No. There are many. More than one. Books. How many books are there? One or many? Many. Cats. How many cats are there? One or many? Many. And then you have dogs and you have pets. So, we know birds, books, cats, dogs, pets means more than one. So, what's the difference here in singular and plural? Look at the word bird. B I R D. Look at the word in the plural column. B I R D S. You have a S here. So, when you add S to the singular word, it becomes a plural noun. It becomes a plural noun. So, singular noun means just one and plural nouns means more than one. And how do we know that something is singular or something is plural? Singular nouns, they don't have a S at the end, but the plural nouns, they have a S at the end. Yeah? Okay, so adding S to make plural. What did you learn in the link? You learned that when you add S to a singular noun, it becomes a plural noun, right? So singular noun means what? Singular nouns are nouns that mean only one. Means it's just one. One shoe, one ball and one Cock. And when you want to make it many, you just add S to that. So when you make it many, you say plural nouns. Singular is just one and plural is many. So here singular shoe and when you add a S here, it becomes plural. Shoes. Many shoes. When there is one ball, we say ball. And when there are many, you say balls. You just add a S. Car, here there is just one car. So one car means it is singular noun. And cars, when you add a S, it becomes cars. Cars means many cars and it's a plural noun. Singular again, there is one clock, so you will be saying clock. And when there are many, there are one, two, three, four here. So you will say clocks. How do you write clocks? You 
write the singular form of clock that is C L O C K and then you will add a S. When you add S, it becomes many. Spoon, spoons, one spoon, many spoons, one cup, many cups. So singular means just one noun, plural means many nouns. And what did we learn? We learned that if you add S to the singular noun, it will become a plural noun. So nouns can be singular or plural. Only nouns can be singular or plural. Nouns means name of people, places, animals and things. Only they can be singular or plural. Verbs Verbs means actions. Can you make them singular and plural? No, you cannot. Only nouns. So singular means just one thing. And plural means more than one. We add S to a singular noun to change it to a plural noun. Textbook page number 18. Look at these pictures and words. How many crows are here? Just one. Means it's a singular noun. And here there are one, two, three, four, five. More than one, right? There are many. More than one. So that should be crows. Many crows. They have added a S here. One samosa, many samosa. When we want to say there is more than one of something, we add S to the word. When we want to say there is more than one, we have to add S to the noun. Right? Car is one plus S cars. That is many. Kite is one plus A plus S becomes kite. That is many. Now, let's do this exercise. Tiger. You just copy the word tiger and then add a S. Then it becomes more than one. When it is one, it's tiger. When it is more than one, it's tigers. Boat becomes boats. River. River. Cloud. Clouds. Complete the exercise. So what did we learn today? We learned singular and plural nouns. Only nouns can be singular or plural. Singular means just one. Plural means more than one. We can change a singular noun into plural by adding S. Right? complete the work in your notebook and in the textbook and upload it in the portfolio. Don't forget the self-assessment part. Thank you.